Oh, this is the hardest one of all. I've said that before. Andy Griffith is gone. Back to Mayberry. You know, where it's peaceful, quiet, laid back, dead. What can I say about Andy Griffith? Peaceful, quiet, laid back, dead. A little bit country, a little bit rock that Ernest T. Bass heaved through a window. You know, Charlie Sheen was all about winning. Andy Griffith, all about grinning. He could grin with the best of them. He was a natural. Whole family was. It was Melanie Griffith, who Andy liked to watch through the window. Oh, he met her in a, candle, a cattle call. Andy was there to read for a part. I was there to clean up. Those cattle calls could be pretty messy. He left there Andy Taylor, small town sheriff. Now, since I was already there, I went ahead and tried out for his deputy, Barney, but I was just a face in the crowd. They said I was too, too high strung. My voice was too deep. I was too intimidating. They didn't trust me with even one bullet. They did not love this man in uniform. Floyd the Barber shunned me because my hair was thinning. Yep, well, time marches on. So did Andy, moved out of Mayberry, but he still wanted to keep his hand in law. I made a few calls, you know, connected. Got him his gig. First, as a paralegal, his Matlock. Only thing, he had to wear his suit and tie now, and he insisted on seersucker. Glad to be out of uniform. He went out with a bang. The fun girls from Mount Pilot. Too much fun. Too much for Andy. He died in our arms. Died out of uniform. Oh, fun girls from Mount Pilot. Barney told him to try to nip it in the bud, but Barney was already gone. He said it from beyond. I'll bet they're both sitting up at the pearly gates in rocking chairs with Aunt B. With Aunt B and Andy picking, picking and grinning. Waiting he on could him. play, picking Waiting. and grinning oh, with, yes. with the darlings. Waiting on an apple pie from Aunt B. Oh, yep. I used to envision her in her panties. <laughs> mm. Oh, how about some uh, some Aunt B pie? Mm. Oh.